Hello class 10th. Hope you all are good. Now let's start new chapter nitric acid. What is the formula of nitric acid? HNO3. Now nitric acid HNO3 is also known as mineral acid. Why? Because it is derived from minerals. Now it is also called monobasic acid because it contains what one replaceable hydrogen ion. It is also known as strong acid because it produces high concentration of hydrogen ions when dissolved in water or it dissociates but it uh, almost completely uh, dissociate in aqueous solution and thereby producing high concentration of hydrogen ions. It is also called oxy acids because it contains hydrogen another element and oxygen right now this is a structure formula of nitric acid okay now nitric acid was initially called aqua fortis by the alchemist why because actually aqua fortis meaning strong water as a, because it is corrosive in action on many matters it reacts with many matters and that's why uh, um, earlier the alchemists they did, what they um, called it as a aqua fortis now uh, occurrence uh, of nitric acid nitric acid occur in free state as well as in combined state now how it occur in free state all of you know during lightning discharge uh, when lightning discharge takes place then nitrogen in the atmosphere it react with the oxygen of the atmosphere and forming a nitric oxide which further oxidize to form nitrogen dioxide and the nitrogen dioxide uh, then dissolve in atmospheric moisture and in the presence of oxygen of the air forming nitric acid in the free state right now uh, okay next just look at these equations uh, these equations uh, first nitrogen react with atmospheric oxygen and form nitro nitric oxide then is your nit this nitric oxide react with oxygen and form nitrogen dioxide then nitrogen dioxide uh, react with atmospheric moisture or rain and oxygen and form nitric acid and fall as a acid rain now next is your in combined state nitric acid also found in combined state and in the form of uh, what minerals now first is your sodium nitrate or it is also called chill salt peter and second is your potassium nitrate that is called bengal salt peter and both these two salts they are also what uh, <coughs> used in the laboratory preparation of nitric acid now let's let's discuss laboratory method of preparation of nitric acid how nitric acid is prepared in the laboratory uh, now in the in the laboratory preparation of nitric acid we take these reactants sodium nitrate and potassium nitrate and concentrate the sulfuric acid either you will take sodium nitrate or you will take ni potassium nitrate and what are your products sodium bisulfate and or potassium bisulfate and nitric acid right now just look at here this uh, both uh, sulfur concentrated sulfuric acid and potassium nitrate or sodium nitrate they are taken in a uh, but equal parts right and <clears throat> are heated gently to uh, a 180 to 200 degree celsius in this glass retort what it is called this is called glass retort and the vapors of nitric acid are produced which are then condensed what in a receiver the nitric acid which is prepared uh, in this method actually it is yellowish brown in color otherwise what happened pure nitric acid is colorless but the acid which we get in the laboratory it is what it is slightly yellowish brown in color why just because of actually uh, what's happened when this uh, acid is produced it decompose and it form what 
uh, it give out nitrogen dioxide uh, and which has a brown what brown uh, yellow brown color which remain dissolved in nitric acid right now next is you just look at the equation uh, which is used in this uh, laboratory preparation sodium nitrate or potassium nitrate when react with self concentrated sulfuric acid it gives nahso4 and hno3 right the same way when you if you are taking potassium nitrate then plus concentrated sulfuric acid and temperature is always less than 200 degree celsius and your product are potassium bisulfate and nitric acid now how you will collect the gas concentrated nitric acid vapors they are condensed and are collected in the water cooled receiver right now next is your uh, you have to take some precautions also during this uh, laboratory preparation of nitric acid first is your the reaction temperature should be maintained below 200 degree celsius because at a temperature above 200 degree celsius what's happen sodium sulfate or potassium sulfate is formed and which uh, form a hard crust uh, where, where which uh, and it stick to the wall of the retort and is difficult to remove and, and is poor conductor of heat means if the temperature is above 200 degree celsius your what these uh, normal salt potassium sulfate or uh, sodium sulfate is formed and they form a hard crust and they stick to the wall of the retort and that is difficult to remove second is your your glass apparatus may break right third is your if temperature is above 200 degree celsius nitric acid may decompose and last is your fuel is wasted so your temperature should be always less than 200 degree celsius now next okay now second precaution is your all glass apparatus is used in the laboratory preparation of nitric acid all uh, the complete apparatus uh, is made up of glass why because nitric acid vapors are highly corrosive in nature and they may attack rubber cork or metal right third is your the acid which you are using you are using concentrated nitric what sulfuric acid but in place of concentrated sulfuric acid you cannot use concentrated hydrochloric acid why this look at here concentrated hydrochloric acid is not used because what hydrochloric acid is volatile in nature means it can easily vaporize hence vapors of hydrochloric acid along with vapors of nitric acid are produced which are difficult to separate right now one question is here just i told you know ki why nitric acid obtained in laboratory has a yellow color and how can it be removed right so now your answer is because at above at about 200 degree celsius a part of nitric acid decomposes to give brown color nitrogen dioxide gas and this nitrogen dioxide gas remain dissolve in pure nitric acid giving yellow color uh, to the what uh, to the acid how can you remove this yellow color from the acid first of all it is your by bubbling uh, what of uh, air or carbon dioxide and then what's happen this uh, <coughs> it can be easily when you bubble the uh, uh, air or carbon dioxide then what's happen they drives out the reddish brown nitrogen dioxide gas from the warm acid and further it oxidizes to what uh, nitrogen dioxide to nitric acid second is your dilution with water even uh, when you uh, add water then what's happen the water dissolve uh, dissolve nitrogen dioxide and oxidizes it to nitric acid right thank you children